Alright, what's up guys? As you can see by the title of this video, we are doing a how to wash your bike video. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you're not doing it right, this is how you should do it, but this is just how I wash my bike. I'm not going to go too much in detail, just going to keep it nice and simple so you guys get a good idea of how to wash your bike. Let's get straight into it. Alright, starting off with a few products, we got the muck off, um, some chain lube polish for the end, the brushes, we've got this cassette one, hard bristle brush here as well for the cassette and the chain ring, nice soft one for the frame, and then some degrees over there as well, and just a bucket. And no, I'm not sponsored by any of these products. I used to use car wash has my wash but I ran out so now I've got actual muck off so that's working pretty well for me just thought I mentioned really quickly it is pretty hard to get a nice finish on this frame just because it is a matte finish so I'm gonna try and show you guys how to eliminate that as you can see there's like some grease up there so we'll try and polish that up so step one is get your bike out chuck it in the stand if you don't have a stand that's all right just kind of lean it up against something got some mud on there from yesterday's ride I like to clean my bikes after every ride generally straight away after the ride I just didn't have time yesterday because I had to go to work first thing I'm gonna do is quickly give my bike a wash down, so all over, bars, back. The next step, I'm going to grab my muck off and we are going to lightly apply that on the bike. So just give it a good spray all over. Now, this stuff is safe for disc brakes and all your drivetrain and your forks and everything, so you don't have to worry about damaging anything. So now what I like to do is just wait a few minutes for the muck off to kind of break down all the stuff on the frame, all the dirt and the mud, the grease, so I've got it all in the rear cassette there. I also like to spray it from the back um, so it gets right in, in between all those cogs. Alright, so it's been a few minutes, so I'm just going to fill up my bucket. I haven't cleaned the muck off just yet, so I'll use that as soap. Right now I've done the whole bike, just a quick wipe down with that soft brush. I didn't touch any of the drivetrain with that brush because if I do it's going to get grease on the brush, it's going to wipe it straight back onto the frame. So what I'm going to do now is just give it a quick hose down and then I'm going to get the hard bristle brush, get some degreaser in that bucket and then just quickly go over my whole drivetrain so I'll show you that one in a minute. So I'm just going to grab an old rag, I'm going to cover up my brake rotor and my brake with it because you don't want to get any degrees or anything um, on your rotor because it's going to contaminate it and then uh, you might have to change your pads and it's going to squeal a lot so you definitely don't want that happening. My hard bristle brush and kind of dip it in there and quickly um, just kind of scrub over the drivetrain. Alright, now we'll give that one a wash off. Now what I like to do is I actually like to wash it out from the back so it doesn't spray back into the disc. Alright, now some of you might not have the tool for the next part, but um, if you don't, you can still do it with the towel. I've actually got a leaf blower, and I find this to be really helpful. It just blasts all the water out of all the bolts, and stops all the heads of them rusting, and you can get right into everything. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up and um, give it a quick one. <laughs> Right, now that I've gone over a whole bike with the blow, I'm just going to grab a tea towel um, and I'm going to go over everything now and just give it all uh, another quick wipe down and I'm also going to dry off the chain in the cassette and get it ready for lube. For this part I've got a slightly dirtier towel um, and I'm going to use this one on the drivetrain so I'm just going to back pedal it, dry it off, kind of grab it with your fingers. We're going to put some chain lube on, so I just give it a good shake. I like to just rest my hand on my derailleur here, hold that, and then um, put it on the inside of the chain there and give it a nice lube. Just a few rotations, not too much. And then I just like to run through the gears as well, so it gets on all the different cogs there. Right, now this part here, this is just an extra add-on that I like to do. Um, I don't do this after every ride. Take it up. Um, and what I'll do is I'll spray it all on my frame, wait like 30 seconds and then I'll wipe it down with my tea towel. And that kind of just gives it a nice silicon finish so next time you've got mud or dirt on it, it'll actually just wash straight off and it doesn't damage the frame. Oh, the colour on this comes up so nice.
guys, that is my routine after all of my rides. Um, so it only takes five minutes. If you do this after every ride, it's gonna feel a lot nicer um, on your next ride and it's gonna last a lot longer as well on all your components. So you don't have to do the drivetrain degrees every ride, but every few rides for that one. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Um, also, leave some comments on video ideas you wanna do. I'm thinking about doing a unicycle versus mountain bike trails. Um, so that should be cool as well, but um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya! Yoo-hoo!